Hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. I am the Conflict Nerd and things have been going well for us. We have 4.4, .4, well, I guess 400 billion rather, not 4.4. .4. We have 440 billion in the reserves, 89.5 billion surplus every month, and we're spending. Well, this is just going well, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still recovering from the plague. But yes, I want to fix this. I want to get the brain drain completely gone. It does seem to be... Yes, it's being contributed to quite heavily by the income and luxury goods tax. The uncompetitive economy is... Well, it's also it's corporation tax is contributing to that. Let's have a look. Caused by so if we can up productivity, how can we up productivity? Which one of these is productivity? Um, I don't think that's it. Is that it? Is that productivity? Working week. All right. Let's see. Where is there's productivity? What is impacting that? International, nope. Unemployment and wages and the brain drain. So let's look at wages. What can we do? Hmm. Okay. What about unemployment? We are helping with unemployment. That is going quite well, but I'm not quite sure what to do. I think I want to focus a little bit on the brain drain. So perhaps we can lower the luxury goods tax. We've already done that. Good god. What about the income tax? Perhaps cut that down to... Let's shave about that much and apply. People should be happy that they have their taxes cut. Let's return to government. Capitalist plot. Our intelligence network has identified a potential Potentially serious plot by a number of wealthy industrialists to force the overthrow of the government. The plot seems to be in the early stages and we are not in a position to make arrests yet, but it is clear that some capitalists consider it a desirable uh, consider it desirable to engineer a replacement for the current government. I should be cautious. Oh god, what's this? Our lack of business friendly policies are forcing international companies to close down factories and offices and move their businesses to other countries. There's another bloody problem. Great. What's this? Corporate manslaughter bill. A new bill is proposed that will allow a corporate entity to be prosecuted for manslaughter when they have been found guilty of negligence. I actually agree with that. I don't think companies should be allowed to get away with deaths when it's the company themselves that is being negligent. Uh, our surplus has been cut massively. That's a big problem. See, the problem is this corporation tax, which I could outright cancel that policy, but uh, I don't know. The brain drain is also being hit by the luxury goods tax, which I can also uh, completely cancel. Corporation tax. Oh god, should I just ditch it and get rid of this problem? Or maybe I should focus on the brain drain, which is sort of slowly dropping. I can also get rid of income tax, which is hilarious. Because that's just a bit ridiculous to consider that this would be a completely ta almost a tax-free country. As popular as people would be, as, as happy as people would be, I don't think being tax-free is a good idea. Also, we can't afford it, so... That is a problem. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Uncompetitive economy. Well, I guess part of that problem is, yes, corporation tax. God friggin' damn it. You know what? We're gonna cancel corporation tax just to deal with this problem. Which is gonna... It's gonna hit us hard. Let's put it that way. Our intelligence... Right, I get it, yes. Safeguard the oil supplies. 
Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attacks by terrorists. The governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil. Well, we do have a military. Um, hmm. You know what? I, I, this one is just awkward. But it is, it is crucial that we keep our oil supply safe. Ah, I don't know. Fuck it, send the troops. I'm spending the money on them anyway. Now, there we go. We have a bit of a deficit going on here. However, we should be about to see a big drain on, yes, look at that. Massive drain there on the corporate exodus. That should also mean that the uncompetitive economy is dropping. And this brain drain should soon be gone as well. So let's hit next and we'll see what's going on. Media backlash, of course there is. Economic forecast, eh, can't read that. Okay, let's once again look at the brain drain. It's still the same, however, this... Oh, that's not good. The economy just took a bit of a spike again. This is still steadily dropping, which is nice. The corporate exodus should be gone fairly soon. I do want to implement a new tax, though, since we do have that problem. Graduate tax, corporate tax, flat income tax isn't popular at all. No, I don't like that idea, actually. Tax in the internet, no thank you. Micro-generation grants. Hmm. You know what? I like the idea of encouraging people to use green energy, but not just yet. Now, the mansion tax. A very... Yeah, that's the one that could hurt the elderly who have big homes. Um... See, this is the problem. Oh, a junk food tax. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to go with that. And I'm just going to max it. Because I want people to be uh, healthier. It will positively impact poverty. Is that... A, I, I, can't, it, I can't remember. It's positively impacting poverty. I assume that's a plus to poverty. So that's kind of negative. Ah, uh, you know what? Cancel that policy. Let's look at law and order. The death penalty, we're not bringing that back. Armed police, I... Possibly... I can see the problem with it, but we'll see. Curfews, no. Gambling... Um, encourages tourism and creates jobs. It's very popular, so you know what? We're going to implement gambling. Uh, I want to have... Okay, that would help the liberals. It will negatively hit unemployment, and it'll... Oh, it's going to be popular if I do that. It'll do bugger all if I do that. Uh, no restrictions. If it becomes a problem, we'll deal with it. Okay, tasers are very expensive. Police drones are very expensive. Prisoner tagging, wiretapping, gated communities. What about foreign policies? No, what about welfare? Nothing that's going to bring in money anyway. What about the economy? Nope, nothing there. So it's all taxes. That's the problem. Basically, oh, hello. That'll bring in money. Toll roads. Yeah. Yes, I kind of... Yeah, I, I, I'm I, going to implement that because I just need money. It's going to hit the motorists negatively. It'll hit... That, those, that's good. Let's see. Yes, I know that there's a capitalist plot. Ban fox hunting. Yes. Ban it. I completely disagree with fox hunting. Okay, the reserves are sort of doing okay. How is the brain drain going? God, that's not great. The uncompetitive economy is staying fairly level, although it is definitely better off than it was. This is still steadily dropping and should be gone. By the looks of it, 
in the next quarter, which is good. So let's just hit next. Oh! I've managed to preside over an unparalleled period of high, high educational achievement and turn this nation into the world's intelligentsia. Is that even a fucking word? I don't even know. Okay. Organized. Oh, crime's back. That's because of the bloody gambling, isn't it? God friggin' damn it. <sighs> Interspeed Auto is incorporated. One of the largest car companies in the country has run into serious financial difficulties. The company executives think that they can get new orders in and keep the company going if the government will provide an interest-free loan to keep them running. The final cost estimate is 600 million. Yes, I will bail out the company. God, we've created four more problems now. This isn't good. How is this going? Yeah, that's going to be gone next quarter, which is great news. Uh, this is, yeah, gambling. Holy shite. Uh, right, we are, yes, we're cancelling gambling altogether. Uh, organized crime should be gone in a little while. Now, I do like the idea of, uh, armed police, but I don't think we, uh, we can't really do that right now. It also costs a fair bit of money, but that really would, that would hit, uh, a lot of people quite nicely. Detention without trial seems like an awful idea. ID cards? Hmm, no. Taxes. Corporation tax does need to return at some point, but we can't do it right now. We just need something that can bring in some money, and I don't want to tax the internet. However, as more and more com commerce moves from conventional brick and mortar establishments to the web, governments are tempted to levy taxes. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. It would cripple the thing, but I can see where they're coming from. An airline tax does bugger all. A car tax. Yes, let's have a car tax. It hits motorists. It. Uh, I want to keep the environmentalists happy. This is we have to do this. We are going to lose a lot of money if we don't. Let's go to the next quarter. And we should see that, yes, the corporate exodus is gone. Oh, good. Someone has the Nobel Prize. That's gone, which is fantastic. This should be, yes, there we go. Look at that. That'll be gone next quarter. This is dropping again, which is nice to see. This is staying fairly level. Our deficit is definitely worse off than it was. Or, well, better off, I guess. State housing. Uh... Maybe cut some money from this? No. Okay. Disability benefits, winter fuel supply, subsidies, rent controls. I don't know. Let's go to the next quarter. Organized crime has gone fracking. Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, is a new drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreachable deposits of shale gas. The technique is relatively new and requires the government to give permission to use. On the one hand, it opens up potentially huge supplies of energy. Oh, God. It'll drive energy prices down. It'll boost the economy. Linked to earthquakes. Technically, not in the UK, though, because we're not on any plate boundaries. You can't... You technically can't have an, an earthquake or a volcano in the United Kingdom. Granted, contaminating the water supply is a problem because we're surrounded by the stuff. Hmm. No, you know what? We are going to allow this. The economy is in such a state right now that we can't disallow it, so... To hell with it. Hmm. Okay. The companies insist that the data is anonymous. Uh, do I want to... This is basically cookies, isn't it? That's what those are. It's just cookies that track you and provide ads for you. Um. Yeah, I'm going to allow it because we have it allowed already. Cookies are allowed. That is a thing. Now this is still the same, uncompetitive economy is pretty much the same. 
Let's hit next and see what we can do here. What's this? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, wow. If the election was held tomorrow, we would get 90% of the vote. That's good. That bloody economy. I need to fix this. Productivity is just a major issue right now, and I need to find a way to sort that out. Where is productivity, anyway? There it is. That's unemployment, rather. Where is... Productivity. Where is the bloody... There it is. Hmm. I can't work this out. You see, the uncompetitive economy is the problem because it goes back and forth, doesn't it? Hmm. The capitalists do seem to be a bit happier with me than they have been in the past, though. Hmm. Detailed polls. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it seems to be fine. The environmentalists seem to love me. Yeah, it seems fine, really. Seems completely fine. What's this? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Well, we're not going to touch foreign aid for a little while. We're going to leave that the same. I do need to find a way to deal with the brain drain. Income tax is a problem. And so is the luxury goods one, but... I mean, look how much money that is currently bringing in. That is, that can't go anywhere right now. Actually, hold on, that's a... Oh! You know what? Cancel. And if you go to the next term, what's this? A proposal... You know what, we are, we are not having a toxic waste dump. I don't care what the argument is. There we go. So that'll start going down, which is great. Okay, this is going pretty well, I think. I think we're slowly moving towards a situation where we're going to have this brain drain going away. Meaning we only realistically have to deal with the economy, and then we're done with the United Kingdom, which is fantastic news. However, it does mean we need another country to govern. So this is the video for you to decide. Comment below. Where shall I go to next? Shall I be the President of the United States? What country do you want me to go and deal with next? Which one is fucked up enough that it needs me in charge? Let me know below. I will read the comments and in a couple of episodes time we will be moving on to another country. But in the meantime folks, thank you very much for watching Democracy 3. There will of course be another couple of episodes with the UK, maybe one, maybe two more. We'll see how much we get out of it. But until then, thank you for watching. I've been the Conflict Nerd, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.